Welcome to Nala's Cuisine. Oh my goodness, this is the worst part. People across is probably looking at me. Anyway. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Hello, I'm Beautiful. This video is for all the fur parents out there that are looking to spice things up. Make sure you do consult with your veterinarian first. This is what works for my fur baby and I decided to just share it with all of you. This is a two-part video, so we'll do her food and then I will also do one of her favorite frozen treats. Most importantly, it is easy to make, so I'm stopping talking and I'm going to introduce the main character, Nala. Nala, would you present yourself, please? This is Nala Dance. Beautiful girl. Stay tuned and let's get to it. After thoroughly washing the green beans, I start prepping them by cutting both ends like so. For this recipe, I like to cut them into bite-sized pieces, so when I do add them into the mix, at the end, they still have texture, but they also won't be too big for Nala to chew. Next, we have broccoli. After washing it, I like to cut it in half and then cut it again. You can leave them whole, but my preference for Nala, I want to make sure that I cut them into bite-sized pieces so that she can eat them, but also still holds the texture and consistency. Wash your veggies. You get the whole point. After washing my sweet potatoes, I prep them by cutting both ends, and then I start cutting them in thirds once I have my pieces, I like to put a slit through the middle, like so. And there's a reason for this, you will see. So after prepping all pieces of the sweet potato, we are going to put them in a pot, add some water, and put them to boil. This is a method for this recipe. Lastly, the only preparation we do for our spinach is washing it and just set it to the side. So after 30 minutes, our chicken is boiling. I opted for chicken thighs, no specific reason. I alternate between breast and thighs. And because I love Nala and I want her to live for a very long time, I like to add fish, either cod or salmon, into her food. Both cod and salmon offer great health benefits for their immune system and aiding brain development. And a bonus plus, it is also great for her skin. After our chicken thighs are cooked, set it aside, then we are going to reserve three and a half cups of its broth and set it aside for later use and allow your fish to cook. And because we are lazy, we are going to grab the masher, start mashing the chicken, and it'll easily shred. Remember in the beginning, I told you to cut a slit in the middle of your sweet potato? Here is the reason why. Look how easily the skin slides off. Girl, easy work. And my little cutie is being QC, quality control in the kitchen, making sure everything is to perfection. She loves it. In this bowl, solamente tenemos sweet potato and chicken. We are going to mash them, mix it together, and then add it into our pot with the fish. And again, we have quality control, just waiting for things to hit the floor so she can get to it. Off camera, I mixed the sweet potato, chicken, and fish together. I also started slowly working in the chicken broth that we set aside. Because Nala is my world, I wanted to add additional health benefits by adding turmeric. After my mix is complete, I slowly start incorporating my veggies, starting with broccoli, then spinach, saving the green beans for last. 
After mixing it through, we are going to turn off the fire and let it sit for 30 minutes before adding the green beans. I didn't want to overcook the green beans on this one because I still wanted her to have that texture. And now I requested blueberries, so we got fancy and I added blueberries. I will list the health benefits. Cooking for Nala does take time and it can get expensive, but she's definitely worth it and she loves it, so makes me happy to see her happy. Some may say she is spoiled, but I say she is worth it. And I may not have control over a lot of things, but I do have control in what goes into her food. If you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up. And if you like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and comment below.